mentioned on trucks and containers, and we process it within this brick, within this block structure. Inside that block structure is a uh, coal crusher and a coal pulverizer that brings it down to the size that we need it to behave properly for both the chemical reactions and the, and the physical hydrodynamics in our reactor. We use these tanks here to apply the catalyst. This is applied in a wet process, so we end up with a mixture of coal, catalyst, and water. We then, of course, have to get rid of that water. We dry it off thermally, and um, that's the equipment in the corner there. We have a dryer and a cooler where we heat that mixture up, and the water is evaporated off, and it's left with the uh, catalyst salts and coal mixture uh, in a solid form. So that's how we apply the catalyst. And then we send it way up to the top of this tower, uh, where in, inside the tower there's a reactor. Now, in the real world, this reactor might be 20 feet in diameter and 100 feet tall, like this, this reactor here, the same height. But what we've done is we've taken a slice out of the big commercial reactor and represented the big commercial reactor by that slice at real process conditions but a smaller scale. The diameter has shrunk greatly. Um, the height is the same as the commercial reactor, the materials in it, the process is all representative of the commercial reactor, but it's a smaller scale, smaller diameter. So we have a tall, skinny reactor in this tower, and we've catalyzed the coal, we've dried it, and we will feed it up, either store it in this silo or feed it up to the uh, top of the tower ready to be put into the reactor. reactor. We take it, we take what is left over, catalyst, a little bit of carbon, a little bit of the mineral matter that's in the coal that you've dug up out of the ground, and we take it out of the reactor, and we bring it to this part of the plant where the catalyst is recovered, and it is used again on the next time coal comes in. So we have a closed catalyst loop. Uh, we use it over and over and over. That's, that's the secret to about 140 feet. And it is the reactor. Um, the big commercial plant uh, is some, as I said, some 20, 20 feet in diameter. This one's a small slice out of that. And in this reactor, we create the same conditions and the same um, physical and chemical environment as in the commercial plant that when we're testing this one, it represents the commercial facility. And that's how we learn. Um, you can also see that there is an immense number of uh, penetrations and, and uh, temperature connections and pressure connections and sampling connections so that we can learn the most possible out of this.